If you watch American TV and movies or listen to American music, I'm sure you've heard reductions like gonna and wanna. These words are an important part of everyday spoken English, and there are other similar ones too. In this video, I'm going to teach you some common word reductions with the schwa sound. Make sure you watch till the very end of this lesson where you'll find a free practice challenge to test your ability to recognize the reductions you learned in this video. I'll talk more about that in a moment, but first, hit the little bell icon, subscribe to my channel, like it if you like it, share it. Now let's get back to talking about reductions. I'm sure you're familiar with contractions, like saying I'm instead of I am, or that's for that is. Reductions are similar, but you may never have learned about them in English classes since they're not part of written English. Similar to contractions, with reductions, we also combine words and leave out and modify sounds to speak faster and more easily. We may not write reductions, but we all use them in speaking. So if you want to understand spoken English better and speak more naturally and fluently, it's important to incorporate them into your speech as well. Let me start with two reductions that most people are familiar with. The first is gonna. Gonna is a faster and easier way to say going to. You might say, I'm gonna leave at six o'clock instead of I'm going to leave at six o'clock. It's not incorrect to say I'm going to. It just takes more time and effort. So you usually hear the reduced form gonna. The second one you've probably heard before is wanna. Wanna is short for want to. Try this. Do you wanna come with me? Isn't that easier to say than do you want to come with me? So much easier, so much faster. Now before I tell you about some others, I want to mention the schwa sound and how it comes into play. If you're not familiar with the schwa, you absolutely must watch my video to be able to pronounce most reductions correctly. The schwa sound is the uh sound you hear at the end of gonna and wanna. Notice gonna, uh, wanna, uh. Now let me show you a trick to learn to pronounce the schwa. If someone were to hit you in the stomach, the air gets pushed forcefully out of your lungs and causes your mouth to open somewhat. And you will unconsciously make the schwa sound. Since you weren't speaking when this happened, your tongue is already relaxed and in a neutral position in your mouth. Let's try it. Take your fist and hit yourself right in the stomach and see what happens. Uh. Uh. Did you notice what happened with me? My mouth opened a little bit. My tongue did not move. It just stayed where it was. And then a sound automatically came out of my mouth. Uh. Now that's the schwa sound. That uh you heard. Okay. Now back to our list of reductions with a schwa sound. There's have to, gotta, a lotta, lotsa, kinda, sorta, shoulda, coulda, woulda, shouldna, couldna, wouldna, musta, ya, and ta. We have a special symbol we English teachers use to write the schwa. It looks like an E, but it's turned upside down. In this video, I'm not going to use it. Instead, I'm going to use the letter A for schwa in these reductions. Because if you ever see these reductions written in song lyrics and captions on TV and movies, they'll write it with an A. So you've already seen gonna and wanna 
and you've noticed they've used an A at the end of each of those words to symbolize the uh sound. Here's a quick challenge for you. I want you to listen to this video again and count all the times I used gonna and wanna in my regular speech. Leave me the number in the comments section below. Do not count the times I use gonna and wanna to explain the concept of the reductions gonna and wanna, just when I use it in my natural speech. For example, if I were to say, today I'm gonna teach you, that would be one. But if I say, today we're gonna talk about the reductions gonna and wanna, don't count those two. I hope you liked this video and learned something new today. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you found this information valuable, please share it with your friends. Thanks for watching!